Hey yo and welcome to another episode of FIFA News. I'm your host Fangbanger and I'll be bringing you all things FIFA the video game, FIFA the community, and everything else you can think of FIFA. Let's go ahead and get into our first bit of news for today. EA has recently been doing some teasing on the idea of having the ability to be able to transfer your saved files, such as your XP and then maybe some of your ultimate team players, from the current Xbox 360 version and probably PS3 versions of FIFA 14 to be able to put that on your new next-gen consoles for FIFA 14 on Xbox One and PS3. Now this would be a huge deal because a lot of people are going to be working at least two months and building their ultimate teams and gaining XP only to be able to have to buy it on the next gen console and have to start over completely, which can be very discouraging. Hopefully this does work out though. They said in the next couple of months they'll have some really good news, so I think it's going to. All right, in our next bit of news, we have FIFA 14 pre-order. Now at GameStop, at least for Americans, and I'm sure this will work in other countries where you decide to buy your games, if you pre-order FIFA 14 for either Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, Xbox One, or PS4, you have the ability to get the messy hardcover case, which I have from the last one, and it's really cool. I enjoyed it. It's like a steel case, so it's awesome. On top of that, you'll go back and get those 24 free gold packs that you'll open once a week for 24 weeks. I had a whole series on it. It was pretty exciting. We got a couple of good ones, but sometimes it was just absolutely nothing. It's still free packs though. It's kind of like free coins. Definitely pre-order FIFA 14 if you haven't already. Now moving on to our team of the week, which is not as interesting as it normally should be. And now that we're getting towards the end of the game and there's a lot of teams that have already gone out of their seasons, it is now time for more of the North and South America type teams of the week. We did have one really good player on this one, and that was the Brazilian Alexander Pateau. Probably the best one I've seen, although I didn't have much to say about a lot of the rest of the other team. Let me know what you guys think of the team of the week down below. All right, moving on now to our more YouTube community section of FIFA news, which is probably your favorite. We have our milestone report, and here we have only a few this time. Not a whole lot going on, probably because the FIFA season is dying down. But we have Bateson87 still climbing now at 80,000 subscribers. He got passed, though, by Ro to Shah, who is now at 85,000 plus subscribers and is continuing to grow. Jack54HD, who I have not had on the milestone report, hit 90,000 subscribers. And Comedy Shorts Gamer, who is a FIFA YouTuber as well as a lot of other games, hit 500,000 subscribers. That's half a million for him. He's probably well on his way to getting to a million subscribers and possibly catching up with his brother one day. Who knows? Now we do have a little bit of a FIFA drama scandal and it really doesn't have a whole lot to do with FIFA the video game. It's more to do with FIFA the community and the players and that is on a Minecraft server that we actually created um, a couple of weeks ago and it's an eight person server and it's held with different YouTubers such as Bateson87, Capgun Tom, um, we've got some, oh Clutch7, that's also a YouTuber and he is also an admin for Twitch TV. And then we have just players such as D.Shifty, oh, and then we have Mafton, who is a YouTuber. So there's a lot on there. It's like a FIFA YouTube Minecraft community slash some people might be making videos on it on their second channels. Anyway, a little bit of a drama and scandal went down. Clutch7 and D.Shifty came home to their cabin a few days ago just to find that all of their horses had been slayed as well as D.Shifty's dog. Now, everybody was wondering, maybe it's just a random person that joined the, the server. It's happened because I wasn't very good at making the whitelist. But it turned out that it was Bateson87 who went in and murdered the entire cabin. Now, for a while, everybody was upset with Bateson, but Turn of Events found out today that it was probably because Capgun Tom bribed him with five diamonds. Now, that's a big deal in the Minecraft community. The diamonds are really hard to find. So, I mean, if I was getting diamonds, there might be a possibility I'd do it too, but this has created war. This means houses could be destroyed, and there's so many of them. Um, I'm going to go ahead and link a video to how it happened down below. It's uh, actually on Capgun Tom's second channel, so I'll link that for you all to see. It's pretty funny stuff. Now moving on to our last but not least section of FIFA news. Now I'm going to have a hard time saying this. This is our up and coming YouTuber, and his name is kind of interesting, but I'm going to say it's Zvebek HD, and he has about a thousand subs, and he has a hilarious channel. I actually watched it for quite a few hours today and it was really funny. He has pink slips that are very entertaining. He does the little like cutscenes at the beginning. He has high-end cards that he's doing, giving away or keeping with pink slips. On top of that, he has player reviews, which is a huge deal for everybody right now because people want to know if they should spend a certain amount of coins on things. 
And then he has some crazy vlogs where he takes you like on a journey to McDonald's or Taco Bell to fast food restaurants he goes to. It's like a road to glory, but going to fast foods and vlogs. I don't know, it's funny how he mixes it up. And then he raps about FIFA. There's different videos where he has raps that he does. It's very entertaining. I saw him in some kind of weird suit he wears in the different videos. So this is a great channel. This one's probably gonna grow and be one of the more entertaining ones. Let's get him past further than 1,000. Maybe push him up towards that 1,500 mark and get him well on his way to being the next FIFA YouTuber. That's gonna be it for this section of FIFA news though. Unfortunately, there's no montages on here. Nobody let me know what they think about them, so I didn't put them back on this one. So if you want them, let me know. If you have any news to report to me, it's fangi 3 anger at gmail.com. Like it, hit the like button if you like this video and you want them to keep going. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That's how you get FIFA news. And don't forget that if you are subscribed to me, you do get a chance to win coins for either PlayStation or Xbox. I do it for both, usually about 100,000 coins. And we had a winner for the Xbox Live 100,000 coin giveaway for this FIFA news. And that winner is going to be what was on my YouTube channel as Ryan Pituck. And his quote that he gave for me, or his pickup line, I had him do the best pickup line was, I was so enchanted by your beauty that I ran into a wall over it, so I'm going to need your name and number for insurance purposes. So that was really good. I enjoyed it. Now maybe some other people might have put that before him, but you have to make sure that you're subscribed to me, because I do check your channel, and if you're not, you can't win the coins. Anyway, that's going to be it for FIFA News, guys. Thanks for watching, and until next time, get bang bang, nerds.